Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be doing an extension of prime numbers. The last few, uh, the, the, I have two videos on prime numbers, but all that was doing was finding if a number was prime. That's not really, it's can, it can be helpful. What happens if you have to find the 200th prime number or the third prime number or the thousandth prime number? that's really becoming where the use for this is very handy so if you have not seen the prime number videos stop here go and look at those and then uh, come back and watch this one because this little bit of code won't make won't make any sense to you so you gotta walk before you can run so all right now all most of our other videos to do something until a certain number of times we use a for loop well because we're going to be think about how many numbers skip around with prime numbers let's mess around with the while loop instead of a for loop so it'll just help us so we'll we'll get started with that all right so let's just jump into it now Let's kind of let's kind of think about this. What the because um, this is where this is where the code gets a little bit goofy because we have to think. So what are what's the definition of a prime? Well, it can only be divisible by itself and one. Correct. Okay. So there's a little hiccup here that I'm kind of bouncing around. Um, there. are all they're almost all even excuse me they're almost all odd except for one even so let's just let's just get let's just define that and then move on so let's set a number to three so all right this is where we're going to start this is our second prime number so let's think about how we could handle a situation if somebody put I want the first prime number so we're just gonna completely remove that from our choices we're just gonna do a hard piece of code and I said we were gonna be using a while loop and while is lowercase and we're going to do this over and over and over again until we get to our x number. So while prime is less than x, and then think about what we need to do. So think about our rule and think about what we're going to do. We are going to add every two numbers because we're starting at 3 and we know that all primes excluding the first one which is two they're all going to be odd numbers so we want to add two to num remember uh, increment and decrement if you didn't see if you haven't seen those if you didn't watch those two videos watch those before you watch this all right by two now this return and if you haven't watched return video watch this because all these print and return are have nothing they're not even close to each other so go watch those print and returns we're just stacking this all up aren't I a bunch of little uh, footnotes so now we have to use our is prime so we're gonna run our is prime num and then if this is true we want to increment our prime count this is our count by one then return if I can 
spell tonight. Return no. So let's run this. Let's get our what third third prime number. Let's see what comes out. Oh, see what I did? Got that in the wrong spot. So what I do? Left off print. Because I actually want stuff to go to the screen. So, five. So you can pull these up and check. This is, you can see how long this takes. Let's run the 8,000th prime. Should be like 79, 19. So, there you go. And I was lucky and I got all the indentation. Well, I did one, one thing wrong. But the reason why, experiment with this placement of this plus two. The reason why it's here is because you can get ahead of yourself and be it's kind of like our um, where we got to do plus one minus one at the end uh, inclusion and exclusion on our range functions so you can be at wherever point you need on your number line if you're on one side or the other so that's why I put it up here first not at the end of it so uh, and this is how you'd find a specific number using a or a specific place place that's for a good way to put it for your nth prime number and this is a outstanding use of a while loop so thanks for watching hope you're getting something out of it now you know how to find uh, a specific prime number uh, by writing a small little snippet of code it didn't take very much so thanks for watching Hope you're getting something out of this. Don't forget to click the subscribe and leave in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.